Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to set up this LP55231 LED driver breakout board. So let's go. Alright, so this LED RGB board is actually from SparkFun now. As you can see there, it's $9. This is from their website now. It does have three onboard RGB LEDs and it can also power nine channels of the LEDs it also has some ground connections there as well. Other than SparkFun's details and documentation on how to set these up there wasn't much online so hence why I've created this video to show you how to wire that up, set it, code it uh, for the basics and then from there you can experiment to try and create whatever projects you want. When you receive the board it comes basically flat like this you then have to solder on the pins that you want to use now you can either use the male or female pins depending on the application you want to actually set up in this case I'm going to use the male pins and that way I can actually solder that onto something like a breakout board or you can easily plug it into a breadboard So as you can see here, I'm just soldering the header pins onto the actual board. Make sure that your header pins are straight before you actually solder them all. Otherwise, you're going to have difficulty trying to plug it into whatever you're trying to plug it into. Now, once you finish that, all we're going to do is plug it in. And for this example, I'm going to have it in the breadboard. For the basic setup, you only need to have the five wires connected to your Arduino. As you can see here, now I'm going to show you a wiring diagram to make things easier. I've got the Uno and also the Mega. Now all you have to do is 5 volt to VCC, ground to ground. Now the pins are important to get correct. I'm not going to go through each of the pins you can see there on the wiring diagram. Just make sure that they're connected up properly to make sure it works. So we're going to open our Arduino software. Now we're going to go include library and then into the manager where we can type in LP55231 and we can find the library there. We click on it and install it. Once it's installed, we can open up some examples. And in the examples, if we scroll down to the SparkFun LED driver down the bottom. Now I'm going to choose the simple demo for this example. Now we're going to open it up and we don't need to change any of the code. The only thing you'll need to be aware of is the include library for the wire.h. Now I've got an example of that in a previous video that I've done so you can watch that video as well. At the top of the example there is a link that takes you off to the GitHub page which has everything in there as well. Explanations, examples, all the stuff that's built into the library. Now, it is handy to go through and actually try and understand a lot of the board before trying to program it. You can learn a bit more about how it needs to be wired up, etc. This comes in handy when you're trying to learn about how you can wire up multiple units of these LED drivers together. So going back to the simple demo code, I've uploaded it and I'm running the comms port which actually shows us which pin it's illuminating now it's going from 0 to 8 but that actually means it's pin 1 is 0 all the way up to pin 9 so in the case of the LED board with the three on board LEDs the first LED pin 1 through to pin 3 is controlling that LED and then pin 4 5 and 6 is the second LED 7 8 9 is the last one so as we go across to the actual LED itself, you can see that as it's lighting up that pin or sending that signal, it engages that LED and turns that LED on. So that's why it's jumping between the red, green and blue. If you were to send two or three signals out, you'll get a combination of colors with all three signals being sent. That activates all three being like a white. There's other examples that show the lights actually fading in and out as they're actually going. And other examples that show the illuminating of the LED. So this is from 0 all the way up to 255 which is the max brightness. And how that looks is like this. Now as it gets brighter it then resets back to 0 again meaning the LED turns off. Now in this case it's actually lighting all three of those LED 
pins or outputs so the red green and blue giving that white color now hopefully this gives you the basics on how to set up this board and in future I'm going to do some further videos to actually show what I'm going to do with this board so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on that video make sure you leave a like as well that's about it from me thanks for watching and we'll see you next time